Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is another car boot sale haul, another secondhand haul, and I've got loads of lovely bargains to show you. Some amazing things from plants to, I've got a nice pair of jeans. I've got some Emma Bridgewater things and Kath Kidston and just some lovely like homey decor homey 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 bits homey stuff your home so all kinds of things to show you and i'm really excited to be filming this um, outside because i'm in our outdoor kitchen so you might have seen last week's video lee and his dad very clever and they managed to build this it's like a lean to thing in the back of our garden um with some wooden walls oh i just hit the chair wooden walls and um got like a plastic roof thing i did do a proper video last week so i'll link that below in case you haven't seen how we made this, I say we, I don't really do anything, how Lee and his dad made this outdoor kitchen. I just added some like little pretty bits at the end. So I'll link that video below in case you didn't um, you didn't watch it last week. So yeah, this is a car boot sale haul. I've been going to loads of car boot sales recently. Um, that's kind of all I've been, I've been shopping on Vinted, which I just love. So I'll have to do a Vinted haul at some point and then mostly car boot sales uh, and then like Tesco and Lidl for food. But car boot sales have just been, yeah, they've just been brilliant. I've been really enjoying them. And I've kind of been looking for more plants and rustic -y things as well for the garden. So car boots are perfect for that. But before I carry on, like I've said hello to you and I hope you're all right. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe if you like these kind of videos. And hello, Rufus. Rufus the dog is just over there. And um, yeah, give this video a like if you do enjoy a car boot sale haul or second-hand haul, that kind of thing. But before I uh, get into the haul, I've got to do my mug of the day, and it is this amazing actual mug of the day. So I've got to say thank you to Celia Camellia for this mug. Um, so I met up with Celia, well, I bumped into Celia Camellia and her family at a car boot sale, and then I bumped into them at the seafront, and then we actually met up for a nice cup of tea this morning. Well, I had a coffee, but yeah, we had a lovely catch up this morning, and they were so kind, Celia and Gemma, and Gemma's daughter. They gave me this lovely mug, which is an actual mug of the day. So I said I'd use it in today's video. Um, but it's kind of like just having a chat with old friends. It's really nice because they're into car boot sales as well. So thank you so much for my beautiful mug. And uh, it was great seeing you and the camellia pictures in the back here, but you can't see it properly. Um, yeah, so that's hi to them. I also want to say hi to Colin, who was at the car boot sale this morning. Colin's got a stall, a really good stall. So I'll see him soon. Um, and also I met another lovely lady this morning at the car boot sale who had a little dog, a little puppy in a little puppy buggy. And oh, it's so cute. I can't remember the name of the lady. I'm normally good with names, but it's just slipped my brain. So if that was you this morning, or sorry, yesterday morning at the car boot sale in Hemsby, thank you for saying hi. And your dog was so cute, a little puppy, tiny puppy, and I said hi to him. Um, right, so what, I can't even remember his name either. I think I was just like, I just saw the puppy and, and then forgot the names. But lovely to meet you. And um, yeah, anyway, mug of the day, I've got a fruit tea. At least I think it's a fruit tea. Ooh, there's a fly. Um, it smells a bit, smells like um, straw. So I'd like to give it a taste. I don't actually know what it is. It just said something, tea. No, it's not fruit. It's like straw. I think it's just, uh, oh, that's nice. I got my lipstick on the mug of the day. Um, it's like a common kind of straw tea that I'm not going to uh, drink the rest of because it, it's a bit, there's a bit of taste of straw. Um, right, shall I get on with this haul then? Okay, so I'll start off with, I'm surrounded by some things that I got recently at Carby Sales like this, this, but you might have seen that in last week's video um, and like this little apple crepe thing and this lovely, oh, it's so heavy. This lovely um, plant at the pound. So that's in last week's video if you want to, yeah, if you want to watch that, there's a few things in there. I did pick up this plant though, from the car boot sale this morning. Look how gorgeous that is. I don't know what it's called. Oh, this I do, there's something in here. This is its name and it was three pounds. So I just need to put it in a nice pot. How lovely is that? I just thought it was really sort of, I don't know, country gardeny. You know, and you see all the lovely tall flowers. It's so pretty. Yeah, that was three pounds and it's a campanula. Tachyon blue, a mound forming evergreen perennial producing bright blue flowers over mid green foliage. Um, I just think that's gorgeous. Maybe I should have got a couple more. So I'll, I'll pop that somewhere, put that in the garden uh, in full or partial, sh partial, 
partial um partial shade oh it's hard to say partial shade i'll put you in partial shade and oh, shade. i can't talk anymore i'll put you in the ground that's what i will do i'll put you there you're you're lovely so pretty i've also got this as well this um so the hanging basket was old but i bought a tray of bargain plants i'll probably show more plants i'll do another car boot sale haul next week actually because i've got a load of plants and some of them like were end of line or like bargain ones so i got all the trays i've got five of them and that was one of them so i think that is called oh i just read it what are you called again oh i just i had the name i've forgotten it i've forgotten it but you might know but it was a pound for the whole tray and i've shoved them in this hanging basket and it's just kind of looks a bit wild but I, I really like it um i'll take it out of here after this video and give it some like proper sunshine um but yeah i think that's really nice got little pink flowers on just probably looks like a, a bit of a mess at the minute but um i'm hoping it'll go nice and wild so yeah that was one pound for that like whole tray of those uh those plants now i can't remember i can't remember the name of it i've only just uh i've only just put it in there but i've forgotten it shall i show it to you in case you want to know okay if you know what it's called let me know um yeah i've got a few of these i think i've just found this with the other plant so it was lobelia trailing rose so hopefully it'll um come out with some more flowers and look a bit more like that so that's what it was lobelia trailing rose let's put you back there all right, right where were we i'm just going to move this one over this is a creeping jenny I like how it's creeping down the side of um of that little pot. Right, so I'll start off with I've got this um lunch bag, like picnic bag thing. So this was two pounds and there was a stall full of like beachy things and yeah, really nice kind of brand new beachy sort of decor, lots of little lighthouses and boats and tea light holders. But I just thought I would get this because they're just so handy to have and it's a really good size actually this picnic basket. So it's a great one just to take to the beach. It's quite a lightweight one, so I'm not going to put really heavy things in, but for just sandwiches, um, a little day out and some fruit or whatever, it's just, uh, it'd be good to grab. It's quite a nice little beach one, but I wouldn't put drinks in here because the handles, um, it's not that sturdy, is it? So silvery stuff on the inside, so insulated, and I just really like the design. So I picked that up for £2. That didn't have well, it was just the price, and a really nice little beach scene on here. It's lovely, doesn't it? It's like Wells, a bit like Wells Beach, which I haven't actually, I've only seen pictures of the beach huts in North Norfolk. I really want to go there. I went, actually did go there, but I didn't find, I didn't go to that part of the beach. I didn't know where it was. So I'll have to go back and then, um, and explore. So that was two pounds. I also got some little toiletries. So I got some white company toiletries and this one's a hand cream. These were three for a pound. Um, so I've got some white company bath and shower gel, some shampoo and conditioner. So these are probably just in like someone's hotel room and then they just nabbed them and sold them. And then some hand cream. So this is, oh, let's drop the lid. Next hand cream, um, luxurious hand cream with sheer butter. So three for a pound on these little bargains. I do like white company. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. White company um, things. Oh, 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 did it go? Oh, that was weird. It went, it went away. Oh. Doesn't normally happen, does it? The sneeze normally comes out, but there's obviously shy, shy little sneeze there saying, no, not now, later. Um, right, so I've also got a lovely blanket. This is just a really nice white blanket. It's really lovely and clean and gorgeous. That was £1.50. I just, I love a, I love a blanket, but I love white as well. I think it looks so fresh and crisp for the garden, draped over a little chair or something. So I grabbed that for £1.50. I think I do actually have the same blanket, um, but it's a bit dirtier because it's just been stuck in the greenhouse. So £1.50 that for that, and yet yeah, just really nice. It's draped over a little chair like this. So I'll just put it there for now. It's so nice to be able to film out here. It's really peaceful and relaxing. It's so nice. Um, yeah, so this was £3. That was the actual price, which I thought was brilliant. So £3 for that which I think is a fantastic price. And I love this um, this design. I think it's so pretty. Sort of classic Kath Kidston. It's got the little tag there. So it could have been homemade. Probably was homemade or maybe from the shop. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter because it's just, yeah, it's just lovely. It's nice and squidgy. I thought this would be quite nice out here. 
um, I mean, you probably, you probably will start off in the house and then maybe come outside when it gets, uh, well, the weather's gorgeous today, but when it gets a bit warmer and get all, um, you know, set up the garden sofa with all lovely cushions. That's so pretty, isn't it? It's quite thick material. So, um, yeah, let's take it off and give it a wash. That's lovely, isn't it? Three pounds for that Kath Kidston cushion. That's lovely. So a little cushion and then over here I've got a pair of jeans. These were £1.50, same from the same lady I got these from. And they are, I love the colour, they're really quite bright blue. I'm not really a, a fan of jeans, but I like, these are really soft, so I want some soft jeans. So when I have to wear them, they're not too tight, because I hate like tight jeans. I like soft and stretchy jeans, and I thought these are really lovely colour. So hopefully they'll fit, I haven't tried them on. They are premium denim 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 premium denim collection i don't know what that says size 14 regular so i hope they're not too long i don't know where they're from what's it saying here oh matalan oh perfect i like matter who matter mat alan jeans um so hopefully they'll fit yeah give those a wash and they look nice and stretchy nice color and hopefully not too long. So £1.50 for those. And I've got a bag here full of bits. So in here, I've got some little picture frames. These were two for 50p. So I thought I would uh, get them to put some pictures in. And um, we still got to give some of our family some wedding pictures. So I thought I could get some printed off and then, yeah, put them in these little frames. I think they're really cute little sort of flowery, flowery detail. And 25p each is so good. It's little gold on the inside, little wooden frames. Really pretty. So two of those for 50p. There's always, there's always loads of frames and pictures at car boot sales. So if you ever need to get any, um, you can find loads there if you're looking for any. And then I've got sort of a mixture in here. One of these things is quite dirty actually. So don't judge me, I haven't washed it yet. And it's for in here anyway. But I'll show you that in a second. I picked up this little sort of jug, it's not a jug is it, it's a vase um, with one of these tops so when you put the flowers in they have a bit of support. What are they called? I've asked this before, it's not a flower frog is it, that's something that goes inside. That's called something else but I, I can't remember but this was 50p so it's just like a little sort of jar, a little jam jar and then um, you put water in the flowers and they have, yeah they can go in here and sort of you can separate them quite easily. So they just have a bit more support. I've got loads of flowers in here, but you can't really see them. I chopped some of these off the other day and popped them in, in here. And they look so pretty. And they last quite a while, actually. I think these are violas, aren't they? I've got lots of them. So I put those in here and I've got another one. They just look uh, really, really pretty. This is the thing I said, don't judge me on because it's, um, yeah, it's, it's quite dirty, but I want to put it in here. So maybe put some little seeds in here. So it's just an enamel dish. It was a pound and it is quite dirty. So I need to give it a wash. It adds to the character though. It's got a little handle here. So I'm not sure what it was for originally. But I just love things like this for in here. So maybe get, put some holes in the bottom and then put some little seeds in or something and try and grow something or some little flowers would look lovely. What is that originally for? If you know, pop it in the comments. Maybe it's just a little dish to cook stuff on. Oh no, it's nice, isn't it? I do like things like that. So a pound for this enamel dishy thing. Put that there. And then I got this for Lee. It was 20p. Toby was with me when we got it. He said, we have to get daddy something. So we found Lee this 20p mug, which um, he, doesn't, he doesn't love a car boot sale. And he, uh, he thinks I've probably got too many mugs, so he's probably not going to be impressed, but he can take it to work. And it's only 20p anyway, so if it does end up at the charity shop, it doesn't really matter. But we thought of him, that's the main thing. So 20p for this mug, it says best dad in the world. It's actually a really nice, um, it's a nice size. I think it's Card Factory. And it's gold, gold writing on here. And it's like a taupe colour, taupey grey. It's actually a really nice mug, I think. Um, so 20p for that mug, that was for Lee. But uh, yeah, I don't know if he's... He doesn't really care about things like that. He uses any mug. No, he likes nice 
not big mugs, but hopefully I'll use that. Emma Bridgewater tins. Oh, this is really exciting. So I've got some Emma Bridgewater things. I've got some tea and coffee tins, and then I've got my kind of Best Buys that I'm going to show you at the end. So this isn't going to be a massive card boot sale haul, but I've just got some lovely things to show you. And then next week I'll show you plants and the rest of the items that I picked up. So I saw these on a lady's stall, these Emma Bridgewater tea and coffee tins but i don't have these i think i bought lee's mum and emma bridgewater the same um marmalade yeah toasted marmalade i bought lee's mum some cake tins because she makes loads of cakes and they're, they're yummy um so i bought her the, the cake tins before and then i saw these and uh, i thought i could put these in here so our outdoor kitchen a few people worried because we've got some electrics in here that were already here so like outdoor electrics um, so they were, yeah, they're completely like watertight and safe. Um, so I can actually put a little kettle in here as well. So we can have a kettle in here. We've also got a telly and a few people were worried, but it's fine. It's completely dry. And there's a tiny little gap at the top there that Lee's going to finish off. But actually no water has been coming in. It's been completely fine. I think, yeah, a few people were worried. And then maybe in the winter, we'll just take the telly inside. But have a look at last week's video if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I'd love to get like a little kettle and then we can use it and have tea, coffee and sugar out here. So I've got a dresser which is just on this wall. So they look really nice on there. And I found um, an Emma Bridgewater toast and marmalade teapot a couple of weeks ago. So in a haul, not last week, the week before. So it's the same range. And I just think it goes really nicely out here because it's so simple and I love Emma Bridgewater. But these tins, so I've got obviously, are they just for anything? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, sugar, tea. And so it says on the top of here, it's tea time. So you can read that, it's tea time. And it says, put your feet up on the inside, the outside on this bit. And then this one is, it says sugar, caster sugar. And then it says, just a spoonful, just a spoonful around the outside there. And this one is, I love coffee, which is very true. So I do love coffee. I'm not um, that keen on straw tea. Have my taste. So, straw tea with a bit of ginger, but it's um yeah I probably wouldn't have that one again. And yeah I do love coffee. Um I love that mug though. Seely Camellia mug of the day. I love my mug. Um this is Sunday mornings. On Sunday mornings I love coffee, which is very true. I love coffee in any morning. So yeah these tea sugar coffee tins. Three of these. I think she said, I came up and I thought, oh, no, I really don't need any tea and coffee canister things. But she said, oh, they're eight pounds. And I thought, oh, that's good. Like someone will love them. And I just sort of looked at them. I thought, oh, I don't really need them. And then she said, you can have them for five pounds. So I thought, oh, I, I think I should get them and put them out here. So we can make a, you know, tea and a coffee and sugar if someone wants it. Um, out here, so I'm gonna put them on the shelves. And I think they'll just look, they'll look brilliant. So these enamel tins are three for five pounds and I love them, I love you very much. So I'll just put them, I don't know what, I haven't looked in the inside. Oh, they're really good condition on the inside. I haven't even looked. Yeah, I love them. Little, little Emma Bridgewater tins. And then on the same stall, I saw these two Emma Bridgewater trays. I love this design. So they said one of them is older. So which ones I think, this one older i think it is this one and they just go so nicely with the tea and coffee things and that mug i got the other day and i also found a toast and marmalade um sorry teapot that i found recently um and it'll go really well with i've got a mug that i found at a car boot sale for a pound which is the toast and marmalade kind of like a teacup so it'll go really nicely together and um, so i'll probably end up putting that all out here actually but these were five pounds for the two so i couldn't not get them. I think she wanted three pounds each, so or five for the two. So I gave her ten pounds for everything. I thought that was brilliant because I just I love a tray and I love this Emma Bridgewater design. And this one says, oh, where do I start? Hey, oh, would you? Sorry, I thought I had something in my foot. Then would you like a nice cup of tea or coffee? What does that say? What about? I'm going dizzy here. What about some biscuits? Question mark sugar two milk oh no milk and sugar two that's what that one says and the back 
this purple just says um yeah toast and marmalade emma bridge water some of the nicest things in your kitchen and these are going to look so nice on this dresser here so maybe i'll put one here and take one inside and then i've got this lovely one which is so nice isn't it oh, i love it do you just say the same thing oh no you don't do i have to should i read it all out again okay so what have we got here okay would you would you would you like a cup of tea comma coffee or hot chocolate uh a oh 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 um english breakfast a sam and earl gray some biscuits with what about some biscuits milk and sugar too that's what it says on the inside that's a quite similar slightly different but this one's more complicated with the teas but yeah five pounds for these gorgeous trays i don't find many emma emma i don't find many emma bridgewater things at car boot sales so i was really happy to to find them and i didn't get to this car boot sale early i think i was there about nine o'clock and they'd been there a little while so i was very happy to have these beautiful bargains I love them. So that is it. That's the end of my video. That's the end of the car boot sale haul. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like and subscribe as well. Unless you're already subscribed, then you don't have to resubscribe. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your favourite item in this haul. So I've got some lovely things. I really love this Kath Kidson um, cushion. I think probably my favourite item is a are these Emma Bridgewater ones, the trays and the tea and coffee canisters. So I just love them. Perfect for in here. So if you do have a favourite, add it to the comments below and I'll have a good old read of the comments later. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this car boot sale haul. It's kind of all I'm doing at the minute because like I said at the start, I've just been going to so many car boot sales and just been really enjoying it and just having a little wander around. And because I'm now into gardening and plants, it's just a great place to pick them up quite cheaply so I've been really really enjoying um going to car boot sales so next week's video will be sort of home decory um and plants and I've got a box I bought a box that was a pound this cardboard box full of um things and I saw some china and it just said one pound for the whole box so I took a bit of a gamble I got the one pound box so I'll have to show you that on here as well so I'll do maybe I'll do a separate video or add that I don't know at some point I'll um yeah I'll add that one pound box it's just sitting in the dresser at the bottom um so I haven't even looked in myself I just saw a couple of things on top and thought oh that'd be a really good video seeing what's in the one pound mystery box so I'll do that soon that's just in the dresser here wait waiting to show you and um yeah, come over to Instagram if you're on there. I'm Kate McCabe um, on Instagram and my house account is called Kate's Georgian Home, which I'll link below. So come say hi on Instagram and I'll be back next week at two o'clock. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.